25 cents. It doesn't get us that much these days, does it? However, there was a time when 25 cents could buy us a very exciting, yet albeit brief, tryst into a world that was very exciting to us. The world of coin-operated video games. Ernest Cline knew this very well. And the, fir the very first three words we saw after we put that coin into the video game became the title of his novel that captured the very essence of not only the 80s and video games, but a time of innocence that a lot of us knew very well. <laughs> Greetings and salutations all, I.S. Anderson here once again, and today I have a re book review for you. A book review, as you may have guessed, is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. Man's dependence on fossil fuel has led to a worldwide energy crisis, creating massive poverty, war, crime, and unemployment. To escape the harshness of reality, man goes into the Oasis, a giant immersive virtual reality venue by, via visor and haptic gloves over the internet. When the creator of the Oasis dies, he has no heirs. He creates a contest to find an Easter egg within his world. The person who finds that Easter egg will not only gain his massive fortune, but control of the Oasis. The main protagonist of the story is named Wade Watts, a poor high school student from the Stacks who actually solves the riddle of the first clue. He has a best friend named H, who creates a, who creates a virtual chat space for them to talk in, and a love interest named Artemis, a mysterious girl who is a blogger and also searches for the egg. The two of them manage to solve the riddles shortly after Wade and become his main competition for the egg. These egg hunters are known as Gunters. Wade's greatest threat is the company called IOI, an internet service provider that has a lot of money behind them trying to find the egg for themselves. If they do find the egg, what they plan to do is monetize the Oasis so that it only caters to the super wealthy. The IOI's army of gunters are called Sixers because of they have their employees' numbers as their surnames. The real threat of IOI is not known until they try to kill Wade in his home. The search becomes a race against the Sixers to find the egg before it falls into the hands of IOI. Ready Player One is a very well-written story in a dystopian world that I find to be actually very realistic, unlike a lot of dystopian worlds I read nowadays. The characters are enjoyable and fun to read about, and also the conflict will keep you on your toes. Fans of 80s nostalgia and video games are going to get a particular good high off this book and find it very relatable. And even those of you who aren't are still going to enjoy it just because of the characters, the immersion, and the story. Not only do I give this book a five-star rating, but I also give it my must-read see seal of approval. I'm telling you everybody, read this book. Just FYI, I listened to the audiobook of this, and it's narrated by Will Wheaton. Yes, of Star Trek fame. He does a very good job in this, and you can actually see him as Wade Watts. So if you're interested in the audiobook, it is definitely worth the extra money. And that is my review of Ready Player One. So as always, leave your comments below, and I'll leave my uh, burning contact information in the abyss below. Please comment, rate, subscribe. You know the drill. And until next time, this is I.S. Anderson telling everybody, make your lives grand. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Remember, kids, if you love somebody, let them go. And if they don't come back, hunt them down and kill them.